Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is a photography video. I've moved all my cycling to a new channel and all of the ready control stuff has moved to a new channel. All the making stuff, all of the review stuff, that'll still stay in this channel. Just, uh, I wanted to move a lot of the videos that was making a lot, a number of videos. I wanted to move it to a more um, topical channel. So those links will be in the description. I built this light box for Amber two years ago for Christmas. She uses it to photograph her sea glass, all using an iPhone. Here are a couple of photos that she's done with it. And if you guys want to make it, that would be awesome too. Links are always in the description. Any questions or comments, leave them down below in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Let's get on this build now. Before you get started, you're going to need yourself a uh, shadow box. Uh, this one's for Michaels. You're going to need some frosted glass spray paint and uh, LED strips of your choice. These ones are salvaged from a, a commercial display. It's also nice to have some Velcro squares, uh, little sticky rubber feet. Uh, you'll probably need a piece of plywood to cover the back. I'm not going to use the backing that came in the shadow box, so I'm just going to take it, get it out of the way, and repurpose it for something else. Once it's out of the way, uh, I'm using eyeglass cleaner to make sure that there's nothing on the glass that's going to get trapped under the spray paint. And once that's done, uh, put a mask around it so I don't get any overspray on the shadow box itself. I'm going to spray down a couple of coats of the frosting spray paint. While the frosting spray paint is drying, I'm going to head over and work on the plywood backing. Cut to the perfect size for this shadow box. Uh, I'm just going to paint that with white ceiling paint. It doesn't really matter. Um, what matters is that it's white on the inside. The outside could be any color you wanted it, but it needs to be white on the inside. Okay, that frosting is all dried now, and let's take a look at it. Perfect. It is perfectly opaque. Let's put those Velcro tabs on the corners, and I'm going to head back to the shop and install those LED strip lights. Okay, back in the shop. The first thing I'm going to do is put these little rubber sticky feet on so I don't scratch the back of the shadow box. Once those are on, I'll take the back off. Uh, with those convenient velcro tabs so I can gain access to the inside of the shadow box which is soon going to become a light box. The LED strips I'm using are not self-adhesive so I have to use a glue gun to stick them to the inside of the shadow box. My LED strips are long enough to do two rows in here. The more the better, I filled it right up. The lights that I used for this project were salvaged from a display and because it's beyond the scope of this video, I didn't include any of the soldering and wiring. Installing the connector on the outside so that it's easy to store without a, a big cord hanging off of it. All right, hope you enjoyed that build. Uh, a couple of things I learned after the build was one, you have to have something on top of the glass, even though the glass is already sprayed to be opaque and, and diffuse the light some. Putting something on top means you don't have this lip all the way around the shadow box where your glass can get caught or whatever you happen to be shooting can get caught. The other thing too is that you can now use this for a tracing surface, for tracing artwork. And if you remove this velcro off here you can actually build your your sea glass design on something else you could even put something a sheet of paper underneath and then project that image up and then put your glass on top uh, the other thing the other update is um, USB lights are mm, easier and cheaper to get now uh, this is a uh, a one meter length of white LED strip lights from a local department store. They were on sale for 10 Canadian dollars with a uh, USB power brick here. Um, you just power it from uh, one that you'd plug in the wall to like charge your iPhone or something like that. Plug it in. It's fairly bright. And because the backing of the shadow box, now light box, uh, comes off so easily, it's, it's pretty quick to put these in. Um, it's plus, there's a bunch of colors available too, so you can do that as well. 
I'm not going to go into how to shoot the sea glass on a light box in this video, but if you would like to see that, then let me know in the comments, uh, click subscribe, and I will definitely make that video down the road. Once again, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoyed.